All right, good day, everyone. So today we're gonna to take a look at some percentage questions, some applications to what we have been taking a look at um, previously. So let's get right into it. So number one asks us, or tells us, when Wendy's, when Wendy walks to school, she covers a distance of 1800 meters. One day she discovers a shortcut, which reduces this distance by 20%. How much shorter is the new route? So let's move that out. So you can think of this as a loss, right? A loss of distance. So we have the original distance we could write. So I'll let's write, write this one out fully. So original distance, it is 1800 meters, right? Or 1800 meters. And we have a 20% loss. So we have 20% of 1800 all right we could cancel out a few things all right so that's 180 by 2 which is 360 meters so we show the, the distance that we lost was 360 so therefore the new route is um so the new route is equal to 1800 minus 360, right? Let us do that here. So I wanna show all the working just for this one. Let's we have a four, four, one. So 1,440 meters. Okay, so that was number one. So number two. All right, well, I'll let this one anyway. All right, so let's see. Okay, so number two um, tells us Chen earns 30 pounds per week from his part time job. He is given a 5% pay raise. How much extra does he earn each week? So they want to know what was his pay raise, not how much was his total amount. He is, he is working for two weeks. So we just have to work on what is 5% of the 30 pounds. All right, so that's number two. So we have 5% by the 30 pounds. All right, so we can cancel out a few things. So we get three over two. Now remember, this is money we are dealing with. So we need two decimal places. So that will be 1.50 pounds. That's our answer for number two. Okay, so number three, um, that it tells us Garrett weighed 90 kilograms. He went on a diet and tried to reduce his weight by 10%. How many kilograms did he try to lose? Right, um, just as a little side note, Number one asks us how much shorter is the new route. So we are already finished when we work out how much shorter was the new route here, right? This is the total distance the new route will travel um, will be, right? So um, we just did a little bit of extra work there. So let's, let's just correct that one time. So number three, they want us to know how they want us to find out how much um, weight did he try to do. So that's just ten percent of the ninety. Okay, so that's number three. That's 10% of 90, right? Which is um, just nine kilograms. I already tried to lose nine kilograms. Units are very important, right? So don't forget them. Number four, Kim's mother decided to increase her pocket money by 40%. How much extra did Kim receive each week if previously she had been given two dollars per week? So we want to know this increase. Okay, so number four. So we had two dollars, two pounds per week, and we want to know how much is the increase. So we have 40% of two dollars. I remember when I um, when we was doing decimals and we was dealing, dealing with multiplication, 
I was reminding you all to omit these decimal points, um, especially if it is zero, um, to not be tempted to cancel off the two zeros with the hundred. All right, so let's just ignore the two zeros there for now. Cancel them down. That's two, that's five. So we have four over five, which is equal to 0 0.8, um, zero pound. Remember, we need two decimal places. So she will, in, um, the increase was, Zero point eight pounds. All right, number five. A new baby, I'm sorry, a newborn baby girl weighed four kilograms. In the first three months, her weight increased by sixty percent. How much weight had the baby gained? All right, so the just want to know the weight gained. So you have sixty percent of four. Sixty percent of 40 kilograms is four, 40, four, four kilograms, right? So 40, 60% of four kilograms, nice. All right, simplifying, let's say two into this is five, two into that is two. We have 12 over five, which is equal to two point um, four zero, and that of course is in kilograms. So the baby gained two point four zero kilograms. Number six, so a portable CD player has a normal price of a hundred and fifty dollars. So in a sale, its normal price is reduced by twelve percent. They want to find the sale price. Okay, so it's not the it's not no longer the um, percentage they would they would want to find. They actually want to find the sale price here. So it is reduced by twelve percent. So the first thing we need to do is find twelve percent of the um, one fifty. So we have normal price. It is one hundred and fifty pounds. So we have. Um, yeah, twelve percent multiply by one fifty. We cancel down. Two into that is six. Two into that is five. Five into five one. Five into fifty is three. So that is eighteen dollars. Okay, so that's the so it's eighteen dollars is our discount or, or or the reduction. So the sale price. is equal to 150 minus 18. And don't forget we have our unit in front. So that is equal to 132 pounds. Okay. So that's part A. Part B tells us after the sale, Normal prices are increased by 2.5%. Right, so this is after the sale. So this is now VAT we are dealing with, or tax. Right, so the normal prices are increased by 2.5%, and a new price of the CD player. So we have our normal price, so this is A. B, first thing we do is find the 2.5%. So 2.5% of 150. Okay, so we could cancel down. Um, five into that, it is 0 0.5. Five into that is two. And we could multiply this out. So a half of 15 is 7.5, or 0 0.5 times 15 is um, 7.5, and that is over 2. So we find we get 3.75. And 
not pounds. All right, so 3.75 pounds was the increase. So the new price will be equal to um, 150 plus 3.75, which is equal to 153.75 pounds. Okay, so we are almost done. Number seven, an ice cream firm sells 20,000 ice creams during one summer month. They expect sales to increase by 22% in the next month. How many ice creams do they expect to sell? So notice they want the total amount of ice cream that they want to sell, not just the increase. So you have to find the 22% of the 20,000 and then add it to the 20,000. So you have 22%, so that's number seven. So 22% of the 20,000. So that's just, um, so amount of ice cream. is 20,000. Right, so simplifying, you can't do a lot of things, this, those two zeros are fine. So this will become 44, um, well, 4,400 more ice creams. Right, so therefore the aimed amount will be equal to 20,000 plus 4,400 ice creams. All right, so that is 24,400 ice creams. And then finally, let's take a look at the last question. So number eight, Peter earns $9,000 per year, well, 9,000 pounds per year in his new job. He does not pay tax on the first $3,500 and he, um, he earns and pays 25% tax on the rest. How much tax does he have to pay? So here, they just want to know the amount of tax that he has to pay, not how much is his earnings after tax. So all we need to do is work on the 25% of the tax. So his pay, Sorry, 25% of his pay. So his pay is, so his pay is 9000 dollars But we are told that he doesn't pay tax on if he's 3500 So um, his taxable income, let's write it like that, his taxable income. is equal to, well, the 9,000 minus the 3,500, right? Because the 3,500, he is not paying tax on. So all we want to care about is what he is paying tax on. So that will be um, 5,500 or 5,500 pounds. And we have to find 25% of this. So 25%, because that is his taxable income, multiplied by 5,500. Right, so this is like a quarter. I think that would be the quickest way to do it. So that's 5,500 divided by four. And you will get 1,000. 375 pounds. And that is his tax. So his tax is 1,375 pounds. So thank you for coming. Um, if there are any questions, you can feel free to post them in the comments. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks again.